Welcome Scorpios. I'm back with another video. So this is going to be for October. We're going to see what energy is coming towards you. Um, this is a general read, so it may or may not resonate. If it does resonate, great. It was for you. If it doesn't, make sure to check out your moon and your rising videos, okay? So this is going to be for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. <laughs> All right, so let's see what we got coming towards you. Guys, it is 4.15 a.m., okay? These are the best hours that I think that I'm going to start doing readings during these times because this is when everything, you know, this is spiritual hours, and this is the most, I just feel more connected during this these hours, okay? So, anyways, guys, <laughs> let's see what we got for Scorpio. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, we got the Three of Cups, the Two of Swords wanted to reveal itself, the Ten of Cups, and the Four of Cups. And the Ten of Wands, the Chariot, the World, Queen of Cups, okay, Temperance. And the King of Wands. The King of Wands just came out as the outcome for Cancer reading as well. Um, we got the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so this is very, very um, hot energy, like spicy energy. Like this is a creative spark. This is a new venture. Um, for some of you, this is very heightened sexual energy. Then we got the King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. It's like very, um, you could be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. But this is just very creative, uh, manifesting energy. Okay, like if there's a new spark or a new idea to help you manifest here, I feel like this that's super dope okay three of cups this could also be like a new uh man <laughs> like maybe you feel like a new man or some of you feel like a new woman or um some of you got a new man <laughs> all right so let's see with the three of cups here and the two of swords let's see what's going on why is the Three of Cups here? And Six of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles and the Tower. I'm getting that. The Tower card is uh, Scorpio's energy, but with the Four of Pentacles here and the Sun. Four Pentacles and the Tower. I'm getting like something was brought to the light the tower and the sun like I'm getting like something was brought to the light um let's see here why is the six of pentacles here knight of swords justice some of you could be dealing with the libra
Hmm. Why is the two of swords here? Queen of Pentacles. I'm getting like not sure if you want to give somebody something. Because I'm getting like you like being like, uh, no. I feel like because it's maybe not beneficial to you. We got the death card and the six of wands. Um, something's not beneficial to you. I feel like you saw something that kind of pissed you off with the page of swords and the five of swords. Like you were spying on someone here and the five of swords, it kind of pissed you off. Um, why is the four of cups here? It's like, you can't force me to do it. <laughs> um, I'm just getting like, you don't want to give somebody something. Um, you just flat out don't want to offer, you don't want to offer them this cup. Um, why is the stuff in the wands here? Yeah, I'm just getting like, you don't want to offer, you don't want to give this person something. Because the Queen of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles is here. Uh, the Three of Cups is like celebrating and coming together. I'm getting like sharing. You don't want to share something. You don't want to give this person something. Um, I'm just feeling like you're just not up for it. And it's like, you can't. they can't force me to do it. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Yeah, because you... You aren't happy about a situation. But the death card is Scorpio's energy as well, too. But I just feel like you... Also, what I'm seeing here is you're not sure if... Um, it's like... Let's talk about relationships. Like, you feel like we're not together or you aren't sure if we're together. Because um, I'm getting deaf in the Ten of Cups is saying, like, we're not in a relationship no strings attached. I'm hearing that as well, too. Like, you're not trying to come off as, like, you're forcing someone to do something. I'm seeing that, too. Why is the death card here? A magician. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Ooh. Ten of Wands and the Nine of Swords. Okay. Y'all was just hella stressed. Okay, y'all was just hella stressed. Y'all was feeling overwhelmed, over... Y'all were feeling burdened. Um, and you were dealing with some things, okay? Um, Could have been financial issues here with the Ace of Pentacles. So... Now it's like you were going through that. And maybe you feel like this person didn't give you anything. This person didn't wasn't beneficial to you. Why is the chariot card here? Seven of Swords. Okay, I'm getting like you're catching someone in a lie. With the chariot card, you could be dealing with the cancer. Or someone lies and says that they're coming and they and they don't show up. With the eight of swords, somebody got caught in a lie. Mine's the seven of swords here. Yeah, you guys are spying on somebody. Page of swords and the three of swords. I'm getting like, are you, do you think someone is cheating? And you're trying to catch them. Page of Swords. 
And the emperor. Yeah. There's an older male involved. I'm getting like you caught somebody doing something. You caught somebody doing something sneaky. The world card. Why is the world here? Yeah, like the nine of wands, you feel like you got to keep your card up. It's like, I don't trust. I don't trust you. Wow. I feel like some of you are also like trying to make this person feel um, like they need to slow down. You don't trust this person. You saw something that you regret. <laughs> you saw something like that you regret seeing. Yeah, like. Queen of Cups is the other party's view. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Five of Wands. Yeah, this person here has a lot going on. Seven of Cups, they got other options. They're doing other things uh, with the Five of Wands. Yeah, like, they got other things going on. Um, It could be, it doesn't necessarily have to be other third, you know, third, four, five parties. This person could be diligently like working on something with the three of pentacles. They're building on something, working towards something. But the three and it's lots, lots of threes and a lot of people involved here. I'm getting like watching something on TV as well too. Like why are you having regrets? Why is the five of cups? The Empress. I feel like you found out the truth about somebody. Okay, now, the Temperance card here. Okay, so maybe you're hoping to, you know, you balance this situation out. Yeah. stuck in this you're stuck on this like you are stuck on this like you are stuck like this is replaying in your head like you're thinking about this i'm not sure if you walked in on something you saw something somebody came back and told you something but i feel like you're spying on someone and you just saw something that just like is sticking with you why is the Eight of Swords here? You love this person. The Ace of Cups and the Lovers. You love this person. That's why you can't get over it. Y'all, it's just something here that it's just like, it's hard for you to get over. Um, We got the Four of Swords and the Five of Swords. But you're tired of competing with this person. You're tired of, you know, Going back and forth with this person. I don't really feel like you want to be petty towards this person because you, you really love this person. But you saw something or something happened. Something happened to where it's like it keeps replaying in your head. Okay? Something keeps replaying in your head. Um, somebody told you that this person 
has a lot going on that they're seeing someone else you saw something but it just keeps replaying in your head okay like it's, i'm just getting like you think about it you're overly thinking about it Give me advice for Scorpios. Okay, we got share your voice. Come out of the cave. All right, so I feel like if you need to talk about it, talk about it. Don't hold it in. Um, I did see that four pentacles energy there. I feel like you guys were in shock about something like you just got some shocking news or you saw something that was really surprising and you've been holding it in. Go ahead and talk about it. Talk about it. Answer the call. See, this person may have been calling you um, or is getting ready to call you. Go ahead and express how you feel. Okay, express it. Put it out there. We got no, okay, wait, postpone. The ever unfolding rose cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you, okay? It's happening for you, not to you. I'm going to clarify no. Okay, well, this one to jump out. Soul family, calling your tribe. You don't have to do this alone. Okay, so why is no here for Scorpio? The Empress. Why is the Empress here? The Hermit. <laughs> Why is the Hermit card here? I'm getting a no. Like, no. Some, the answer to something is no. And see, like I said, you're overly thinking about you're overly thinking about it. Um, maybe you saw something um, and you you feel some type of way about it. Maybe you think that somebody is sleeping around or messing around. But the thing about it is, is they may be around a lot of people, but it could possibly just be for work. It could possibly be that these are potential, you know, business partners or something in that nature. But I'm getting a heavy no. But I feel like you're just constantly you're, you're thinking about this you're overthinking okay maybe some of you don't want to talk to this person you're pissed y'all don't want to talk to this person you don't want to like i'm just kidding like some of y'all just don't even want to talk to this person Some of y'all feel like someone found a new girlfriend or a new boyfriend. They haven't, okay? They haven't. <laughs> it may be a situation with no strings attached. I mean, and I I feel like that was, that was revealing itself in the beginning of the reading. I'm getting like no strings attached. So you guys let me know what's going on in the comment section below. And I will chat with y'all later.